Hey guys, Justin here, Jay Hart Model Works, coming to you with another update on Tamiya's 124 scale Ferrari 360 Spider. Join me as we take a look at the bench and see what we've got going on. <laughs> All right guys, let's go ahead and start with the body. Our stripes are done and we have the 2K clear coat down. It looks fantastic. I love the Bordeaux candy from House of Colors. That was a great choice in my opinion. It looks fantastic with that Grugio Silverstone Gray. When I sprayed the 2K, I got a little heavy with it. And you can kind of see it pulls up a little bit along the edges of the panel lines. We can flat this back, we can sand this, and then polish it back up. That'll be no big deal. There is the, it's kind of hard to see because it's very fingerprinty. There is just a tiny bit of dust in here, and it's like that periodically in various places. This is gonna be nothing to sand out and polish up. So that looks really good. Now, I did have to spray the engine cover twice. I had to strip it and respray it. Like I said, when I sprayed the 2K clear, I got way too heavy with it. And I don't know why I sprayed it that heavy, but I did. So the engine cover was not laying on the car like this. It was not taped down. It was standing up on itself. There was a small piece of plastic that was still attached here and it was standing upright. So because I sprayed way too heavy, that clear kind of sagged down and it all pulled along the bottoms of this edge. And it made a really dark line through there that just would not clean up. I tried to sand it, I thought it was just a refraction. And it may have just been a refraction, but while I was trying to sand it smooth, I also burnt through on the edges and messed up the paint, so I just stripped it it did turn around and respray it. And this time I got it. It looks great. I'm very happy with that. Now to mask off the stripes, I borrowed my daughter's girlfriend's Cricut machine. My daughter's girlfriend, Andy, was awesome. She let me borrow her machine and it took a bit, but I was able to do exactly what I wanted. And these made those stripes a lot, lot simpler. Um, there's a lot more patterns than this. These are just the ones that I made as extras uh, from when I had to respray because I've thrown most of the other ones away. And when I originally planned to do this, I bought some vinyl specifically for cutting masks. And <laughs> I didn't pay, I wasn't thinking, but that vinyl is blue and is not clear and I needed to be able to see like the uh, hood ornament location, so that I would help me find the center and line everything up off of that, and I couldn't see that using the vinyl. Now this is transfer tape. After you've cut your vinyl pattern, you're supposed to cut a chunk of this out, lay it on top, lift it up, and it's supposed to keep all the vinyl in place while you're placing it in onto your, your model. It's clear. So I just cut my templates into the transfer tape, then laid the transfer tape down onto the model. So that gives you, this is actually the one for the rear engine. This is actually one for this rear engine cover section. Now I did two different designs. I did one that was kind of rounded, which is the one I ended up using. And then there's this other one, which is more of a straight line, which is actually the one I used when I printed it the first time. And I kind of felt I liked the rounded pattern better, but you would actually just kind of set that down. You'd find all of your centers. I put tape on the body so that I could mark my center lines. And then I just kind of lined everything up, get it where you want it to do, lay it down, then tape all around it and you have perfectly matching openings so that you can spray down. And then when you're done, you just carefully lift it up and you end up with absolutely perfectly masked stripes. 
the distance between them is absolutely perfect as long as you line them up center wise they uh they look great as long as you get them <laughs> lined up centered and they just kind of go straight down the car so that is how i did that and that is a really cool way to do stripes if you're doing a pair of stripes especially if you're doing stripes that have a design to them because this comes down there is a curve point here it comes down there's another curve point in here and then it comes down and it that's a series of curves that makes that rounded end trying to mask that with tape would be nearly impossible to make it look that good because that's really nicely rounded uh, we just did some uh, i believe it's tamiya sparkling silver the lp48 and then their uh, clear red is what i did for the brake light i may come back in with a piece of clear acetate and glue that down in there i used well, one of the masks i masked over it before i sprayed the clear so there's no clear coat in there so like i said i may put some acetate in there just to cover that up and make it look like it has a lens on it but all in all i am very happy with the body we of course have our headlight buckets those will go right in there like that they match up really well and we got the mirror sprayed up in the gray also a lot of the interior components are in gray or red this is zero paints ferrari bordeaux yeah that's what it is it is ferrari's wine red color so those are gonna look cool in there in my opinion and this here is a part that will glue into the underside of the body in the interior it'll glue on kind of like that and this will sit up against the back wall of the interior tub speaking of the interior tub our flocking is done i've gone ahead and glued our handbrake into place back wall is painted up nice and red I have gone in and I 3d modeled this the brake because the kit came as an automatic which as you guys know by now I am converting this to a gated manual so I needed to clutch so I took a ton of measurements and I went in and I remodeled the brake like complete with a little pin and the mounting bar and a little back post that holds the uh the pedals up off against it lifts them away from the the back wall and then i replicated this pedal and moved it over to make my clutch so i've got my clutch for my manual so we also have our accelerator down there as well I don't know if the seats were painted in the last video, but they are painted now. I do need to clean some of that panel line. I still have some Tamiya panel line accident kind of in there that I need to go ahead and remove. It didn't get all of it last time, but that is okay. We will take care of that. So those are looking good. Do need to get the seatbelts in. So I have some of these hobby design ones, which I've painted up. So we'll put a couple of these in there. We're also going to put in a couple of my seatbelt uh, mounting brackets or housings. These are for the bottom ones. And for the top, we've gone in with just a metal file and we've etched out just the very top edge, just enough for our seatbelt material to sit in there. So that will sit in that little groove. This way, when this comes up, it's gonna come up in here, something like that. And our seatbelt will sit in that little groove and it won't interfere with the body. 
And speaking of the seatbelts, I have a decision I need to make. I'm kind of torn. I do not have any wine red seatbelt material. I could order some, but I don't really want to wait for it. And I think that the wine red would probably just get lost in here anyhow with all this red. So one option we've been looking at is bright red. Come in here and that will sit right in that little crease right there. That's going to go something about like that. I'm not a huge fan of the bright red. I think it does not look right with the dark red. And again, it still kind of blends in. I can play it safe and use the black seatbelt material. Which that'll look nice. That'll be fine. Um, it's a little tame, but you know, it'll work. The other idea I had was to go for some yellow seatbelts, which I like the contrast. They stand out really well. I, I like them. My problem is that I have no other yellow on the car. So if I do go with the yellow seatbelts, I will probably do the brake calipers in yellow as well to tie them in. And I may do the yellow shields with the, the prancing horse on it which I don't tend to do on Ferraris. I think those Scuderia shields are a little kind of garish, but I may do that just to get a little bit of yellow in there to tie it all together. But let me know what you think. Should I go with the black? Should I go with the yellow? Do you think I should go with the red? I don't think I should go with the red, but give me your ideas in the comment section down below. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, all the interior parts that are going to get red have gotten their red. Everything is looking really, really good. I'm going to take a look at our dashboard, which I think this dashboard came out fantastic. We have one of the chrome uh, metal transfers right there. I did have trouble getting that to stay. I ended up actually applying it with Elmer's glue. Um, because it's an interior piece, it won't get touched. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. That's one of the bad things to these metal transfers. They're always, the adhesive is very weak on them. Uh, we have masked off and sprayed our climate control knobs as well as our radio section in there. We have our gauges, and then I did cut out small pieces of sheet acetate for the two larger gauges and just dropped them in. And then for the smaller ones, I just added a little bit of Mod Podge just to give them that gloss look to them, but they're just too small to cut anything to go in there. But yeah, I'm very happy with how that has turned out. We also have our steering wheel and the, uh, what is that? The steering column, which I have added one of my 3D printed ignition switches in there. I'm not sure what's going on. I think my printer is smashing prints slightly because there should be more detail than that, but I've got to investigate why that's happening. And I added in one of my 3D emblems for the prancing horses. I don't know who makes these. I'm pretty sure I got these from carmodelkit.com or something like that. It's a place in Europe. But... 
used one of these ones right here to go into the center and that looks a lot better than just having the flat decal in there. I like it. Now we did add in the lower half of our steering column because that makes the mount point for the steering wheel. So we added that in, but we also went back in and we cut off the little flappy paddles so that we wouldn't have those in there when we made this into a manual. The other decision I am looking at is wheels. I have a kind of a matte semi-gloss black. This is actually just Mr. Surfacer 1500. I like the sheen on that. And then I have a gloss black as well. This is just Tamiya's LP1. So those are my choices. I've got the gloss black in there. And then I've got the flat black. I'm leaning towards the flat black. What do you guys think? I always like the gloss black or the flat black. I think the flat black with the gloss metal gray body looks really good. Especially if we end up with like some yellow calipers or something. If I do the black seat belts, I will probably do the calipers in this candy uh, burgundy that I used for the stripes. I don't know. So again, let me know what you think. Gloss or flat, I'm leaning towards the flat myself. All right, so that's going to be a wrap for this video. Our next steps are going to be to go ahead and finish up this interior once I make a decision on the seatbelt colors. Uh, if I want to go with the yellow or the black. And once I make that decision, I can finish assembling out the interior tub. And from there, I will probably move on to the chassis and the engine section. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave the body alone for a few more days. Let that finish curing up. And then we can go ahead and wet sand and polish it out as well. Not sure when we're going to get that done. This weekend is crazy busy. we got a ton of stuff to do to get the house ready for the foundation repair that's coming up. Uh, we've got to get the dogs and the cats all vaccinated and just make sure all their shots are up to date because we're going to have to board them for a week. We're going to have to board us in a hotel for a week. So that's coming up mid-April. So lots to do. Uh, not a lot of time to do it in, so I'm not sure how much more bench time I'm actually going to get for a little bit, but that's where we're at. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I always appreciate you watching the videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all of that jazz, and I will catch you on the next one.